What's crackling, everybody? Welcome back once again to the Definitive Serial Tier List. For each episode, we take a serial, put it on the tier list, so you know how good it is. I'm your host, Tucker. In this episode, we're doing Special K Blueberry with Lemon Clusters. Last episode, we did Special K Blueberry, no Lemon Clusters, and that did get a C. It's the lowest, I think, of the Special Ks at the C range, those being chocolate and almond, banana, protein, cinnamon, brown sugar, and now blueberry but C nonetheless. So this, it's not gonna solve like the special K piece issue that I had with that. So that's not gonna change. And I enjoyed just having special K flake and blueberry. So there wasn't much I found lacking taste wise. Like maybe throw in a bit more blueberries. But this one, it says, now we're throwing in lemon instead, which is interesting. And the fact that it's a cluster, maybe it'll have some more crunch going on so it's just going to be a slightly more complex flavor than the blueberry was and there's a chance that could work out unless it terribly backfires well, let's just find out see what we got also just kind of a fun thing this one it's all yellow and new is in a blue oval and for blueberry it was all blue and new is in a yellow oval so that's kind of a fun switcheroo no importance to that, just something I noticed. Ooh. Very different scent from Special K Blueberry. It doesn't scream lemon to me, that scent. Interesting. I feel like I mostly got flakes in this bowl. It's not a great sign. Yeah. I think you got... I don't know if I had a single one of those in there. They might be hidden, so I don't want to judge too soon. But it's kind of disappointing that I don't see that right away. Okay. But yeah, same special K piece. Looks like the clusters are both the lemon and the blueberry. So that's kind of fun. So not seeing any of those dots though. Okay. Okay. Mm, at the end, I think I notice that it's lemon a bit more. Like, you can definitely tell there's more to the taste than just okay blueberry. But I feel like it wasn't until I got closer to the end that my brain was like, oh, lemon. So that's kind of odd. But it's a nice, like, nice flavor. Works out all right. Just... Not a strong, not a weak. Just kind of a middling first impression. Working my way through this bowl, I feel like the clusters are doing a great job of hiding themselves. Or well, I'm not really seeing them much, but I am getting that blueberry and lemon taste. So I know they're there. They're just not standing out to me, which is kind of weird, but I'm still, you know, enjoying it. So not a huge complaint, just an odd thing that's happening. And I will say, the, the pieces do seem to be following along a lot of the normal Special K flake route. They feel a, a bit less soggy than the last bowl it did, so I don't know if there's a bit of coating on here. It says it's just blueberry clusters and lemon clusters, nothing about the piece itself, so it might just be coincidence that's not happening this hard here. But yeah. It's all right. I think while I like having two different types of clusters, even though I can't see them, I think if it had been adding lemon clusters to the normal blueberry, so you got your flake, dry blueberry, 
lemon cluster. I think I might have been more into that maybe. Although you get, still get less crunch because it wouldn't be all the clusters. I don't know. I, I think I was just sort of expecting something like that versus how it is here. So it's still working out. Just that's a thought I'm having. I'm not seeing much of a color change in the milk, but let's see if there's a taste change. Oh, it's like a much sweeter blueberry taste than blueberry special K had. That's interesting. Maybe that's the lemon. Yeah, that just seems like a sweeter blueberry hint of lemon. And so I'm kind of into that. I liked normal Special K blueberry milk. So slightly sweeter version. I'm into that too. Despite only seeing two or three clusters, this still had a solid taste. So I enjoyed this bowl. I'm not convinced I had one of those little like yellow white looking pieces. So I'm just going to dish one out see what it's like. Okay. Open this up all the way. It's never a good idea, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This feels lemony. Yeah, I'm not sure I had this at all in that bowl. That is far more lemony. I don't think I had one of those at all in that entire bowl. That's so weird. It feels like it's an inaccurate review now. Like, what are you gonna do? I don't choose my bowl contents. Huh. That's like, sort of the same consistency and texture as like when you get a clump of powdered sugar. You know, that's sort of what this makes me think of. I gotta get back in here. I'm sure this sounds great. Here we go. Slide on in. Please do not spill. There we go. I'm now convinced I did not have those lemon pieces at all. So maybe that's why the lemon taste seemed a bit weaker in that bowl. I'm not sure how that would have really changed things though. So that's kind of an issue here where I know what the bowl I had was like, but now I feel like I was missing a key ingredient from it. So it feels weird to give it a, a judgment based off that. So this one, this has happened a couple of times. I'm giving an asterisk to this one. So if in future bowls of this, I do get all the pieces and it's enough of a difference to warrant some sort of rank change, I reserve that right. But just looking at the bowl I had, I enjoyed it overall. I think it obviously, even though not a ton of clusters and no lemon clusters, I think it did seemed to have more crunch than just Blueberry Special K. So I appreciated that because that was sort of the main complaint I had about most Special Ks, but comparing this directly to Blueberry. So that was a plus. And there was pretty decent Blueberry taste in there. I, I still think the full dry Blueberries work a bit better. Could have just been, again, a lack of clusters issue here but I think it's fairly comparable to the original blueberry. Big asterisk. So what I'm gonna do is give Special K Blueberry with lemon clusters a C. Same rank as Special K Blueberry, but like that one, I think it's a bit of a lower sort of C, but it just sort of barely works out. I think just having the clusters in there to help fight the sogification of Special K works in its benefit. And while I don't think the overall blueberry taste was quite the same as Special K blueberry, I still enjoyed it enough 
that it doesn't feel too wrong to put it in there. And again, very interested to see what having those full lemon clusters was like, because I was getting like a bit of lemony taste in there, but I feel like that was just kind of some lemon dust had fallen off and gotten in there. So I still feel weird about putting this anywhere, but it's a low C, so there's a chance could drop to a D or move to a bit higher C. We'll see, but for now, it, this seems like a solid special K, mostly all around. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and in the comments below, post your general thoughts. Let me know if you've had special K blueberry with lemon clusters and what you thought about it. If your bowl actually had lemon clusters, you can let me know how that really changed things up. If you, like me, seemingly had one without any lemon clusters and you're like, whoa, how did that happen to someone else? I would love to hear about that too. And this one says new look on it, which I think is because I remember seeing this one, at least in recent years, on sale before normal blueberry was. So that's kind of an odd thing, but there's more of a chance then, I think, that you would have tried this instead of trying blueberry. So if you did see this first and like, oh, that's weird. Why are they doing blueberry after? You can agree with me about that too. But until next time, stay delicious. Hashtag where are the clusters.